Hi, I'm Magnus. I've been a trainer and nutritionist for more than 20 years. And today I'm excited because I got my friend Lexi here with me. And some of you might have seen uh, Lexi before. She's got a successful YouTube channel. And a couple months ago, she did a um, challenge with me when she worked out as Lara Croft for 45 days. It was a pretty uh, crazy experience to say the least. I hadn't done much prior training uh, before doing Magnus's Tomb Raider workout and nutrition plan. I gained nearly six pounds of muscle in 45 days, which is insane. I travel a lot. I actually recently broke the Guinness World Record for the youngest person to travel to every country. And over the past few years, traveling is definitely led me to get a bit out of shape. <laughs> but now with Magnus's help, I had another idea for a challenge, which is training this time like Wonder Woman. Before we get into the specifics of the Wonder Woman workout, I want to thank today's sponsors, Element. Element is a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. That means a lot of healthy salt, no sugar. Element is formulated to help anyone with their electrolyte needs and is perfectly suited for folks following keto, low carb, or a paleo diet. With none of the junk, no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, no gluten, no fillers, no BS. Drink Element is a health alternative to sugary electrolyte drinks. So I started drinking Element in the morning as soon as I wake up. You see, when you wake up, many times you are dehydrated and we want to avoid that. My favorite flavors are definitely watermelon and raspberry. Element is used by everyone from the US Olympic team to the NFL, NBA and more. And if that isn't enough, now you can try Element totally risk-free. And if you don't like it, you get your money back, guaranteed. As a member of a community, Element has a very special offer for you. For a free Element sample pack, you only need to cover the cost of shipping. You get yours today at drinkelement.com slash magnusmethod or click in the link in the description below. All right, let's get into it. And we're gonna do 30 days, right? Yeah, yeah, 30 days. I'm really excited about this one. So I worked with Gal uh, Gadot on Wonder Woman 2 and Gal worked so hard to prepare for this role and uh, so will you, I hope. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, we're gonna work on your nutrition, we're gonna work on your training, uh, recovery, sleep, everything. So let's get started. <laughs> So I had Gal on a five split program. That means that you work different body parts, different days. So in those five days, we work through the body twice. So the first three days, we work through the body once, and then the remaining two days, we work through the body once more. If you wanna try the full Wonder Woman program, I have it on my app. I have a four week version and I have a six week version. I'll put the link in the description below. So when making a program for someone, it's important to really look at who they are, what they need and what your goal is. And with Gal, we, we needed strength, mobility, agility, and obviously also the look, the physique. So we decided that a five split program would be perfect for her because on top of all the training, she also had to do a ton of stunt work. The philosophy behind a five split program is that you can divide the body parts into different days so you can focus more on certain body parts and target them harder in a day and then allow those body parts to rest and recover while working other body parts the day after and the day after. So the five split program that I had Gal on for most of the time we worked together was legs and core Day one, day two, push and pull, chest and back. Day three, arms, outside shoulders. Day four, legs and core again. And day five, push and pull. On top of this, 
we did a lot of high intensity interval training on top of everything else. When working on a big project like this, it's not only your physique that matters, you also gotta make sure to stay injured free. You can imagine if a gal would get injured halfway into production and production would shut down, that would be a disaster. So training is just one part of a makeover. Nutrition's the other part, which is super important. So I'm gonna go and meet Lexi at the grocery store and we're gonna do some grocery shopping. Let's go. So we are now in the grocery store because as Magnus has mentioned many times before, the nutrition aspect of this training is equally important to the workouts themselves. Absolutely. So, so I'm happy that we're here so I can, you know, show you what to eat. Yeah, definitely. So I want to make sure that we're, you know, mirroring the diet that Gal had when she was doing all of the different training. And I think the best place would be to start with breakfast. Sounds good. So uh, yeah, let's head towards the eggs. Okay. All right. So I think the rule was to have three eggs for breakfast, right? That is right. That's about 18 to 20 grams of protein. The total amount should be about 100. So a great start to today is eggs, which is a uh, you know, high quality protein source. And you know you can boil them, you can poach them, you can turn them into an omelet mm -hmm. with vegetables. And you, know, yeah. you can have a little fun with it. Yeah, well, what I've been doing is I'm sauteing onions and mushrooms, and then I'm adding for to hit on. And I'm also not cooking with any butter. <laughs> which is sad, I've been doing olive oil instead. And then I'm also adding like half an avocado to the meal as excellent. well. Avocado is an excellent uh, fat source. So yeah. that's exactly what you should be doing. Okay, so eggs it is. Yes. The, the 18, because these go by pretty quick. Yep. Or should we do organic? I think we should go organic. Uh, um, okay. These ones? Yeah. Okay. That's a good option. So you recommend always opting for organic over... If you can afford it, you should always go organic. And, okay. and also when it comes to eggs, free range. Okay. And okay. if you can, do your research and find out which, which brands actually proper free range eggs. Because mm -hmm. that's, a whole, that's a whole different topic. But mm -hmm. um, do some research, okay. get the best eggs possible. Organic it is. Perfect. So in between breakfast and lunch, I've been doing a protein shake, which yep. is just the uh, protein powder and water, nothing else. <laughs> and the reason we're doing that is it, it's the most simple way of me controlling your protein mm -hmm. or macro intake. Mm -hmm. If you do a shake, it, you, you could be eating real food and I would prefer that. Mm -hmm but we need to keep it simple. We need to make this work. I need to know that you're getting what you need. Yeah. So that's why we're doing the shake. And I'm also doing only egg protein. Cause I think that's the one you recommended. About yeah, do. whey or egg or a blend. Mm -hmm. As long as you have all the essential amino acids in a protein powder, then, then you're good. But I'm a big okay. fan of, of egg protein. Okay, sweet. So one of the things I've been struggling with the most with understanding the diet is the, uh, the fruits and vegetables aspect of it because I know that I should be eating vegetables every day but I I don't know where that fits in is it the is it, it's not the proteins it's not the car carbs necessarily well or the vegetables fat? you know you got your protein carbs and fat and then veg vegetables on top of that so um, vegetables are not very carb heavy so I don't count them normally as a carb so you can really eat as many greens as you want okay. or possible. And then I should probably stay away from vegetables like potatoes and corn Yeah, and yeah, stuff that's, like that. that's, that's a starchy carb. So uh, potatoes, you know, I like potatoes, but that's definitely carb and not a vegetable. Okay, okay, good to know. So it's okay to pair any of the different meals that I make for lunch and dinner with Brussels sprouts or green beans or Asparagus, Absolutely, and I, I would like recommend that. you know something something lighter like uh, a mixed salad, tomatoes, okay. cucumber. And I'm not necessarily needing to track how much of that I'm getting in a day. It's really no. just paying attention to the carbs, proteins, and fats. Correct, but okay. 
as we were saying before, you 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 know, once you get to potatoes, which is a starchy carb, that's that's something different. Just because they're in the same section doesn't mean that they're equal to, you know, to know. lettuce, that's tomatoes, to and cucumbers. <laughs> Okay, but definitely. I'm getting my nutritional uh, education that I somehow missed when I was in school. So we were asked to stop filming in the grocery store, but the bottom line is that I wanted to make sure that Lexi stays on top of her nutrition. Many times that's the hardest part to stay on track with. So I calculated that Lexi should be on 1700 calories in a day, have about 105 grams of protein, 175 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. And that spread out in five meals. I don't love calculating macros and calories too much, but when you do something specific like this, you definitely should. As you probably heard in the store as well, I want her to eat high quality protein, slow carbs, tons of vegetables, and good fat. It's gonna be interesting to see if you can pull it off. But I'm so hungry and I don't have any choices, so. Here's to the most epic cheat meal ever. We have animal style fries, a double double cheeseburger, <laughs> a Dr. Pepper, and a, uh, and a vanilla shake. Because if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it right. So, uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> now completed the full 30-day challenge but before we show you the results Lexi sent me this video of a full Wonder Woman action scene let's check it out Wow, what was that? <laughs> so that scene turned out uh, pretty amazing. I definitely wouldn't have been able to pull that off without the help of some very talented friends, but I think that was the best way to really celebrate being done with this Wonder Woman challenge, which the results are in from the training and I lost two and a half pounds of fat and I gained uh, 1.7 pounds of muscle in 30 days. That is pretty awesome. Uh, how do you feel about those results? Uh, well, I had some mixed feelings because I had such insane results from the Tomb Raider training that we did last time. I yep. gained almost six pounds of muscle in 45 days. And I've been thinking a bit about why that could be uh, such a you know big difference, but I think it. I mean, I would love your opinion on it, but I think that it might have to do with uh, the fact that I had been training for a, a, over a year now, so potentially you know being able to make as insane results is easier when you're first like, you, just getting started. You're totally right. You, you can't make the same progress over and over again or, or continuously. You, you, uh, in the beginning you may make the, the biggest difference. So like baby gains, right? That's like the term. That yeah, you exactly. For. <laughs> because you know you, you came from not working out to suddenly working out five, six days a week. 
and then go from also not the insane nutrition aspect of it. Exactly. So what we're seeing now is just a continuation on the progress or those results. If I remember it correctly, when we started the Tomb Raider challenge, you were almost at 33% body fat, right? Which is pretty surprisingly and, high. And, and then you lost, you, how, how much did you come down? I came to, down maybe two and a half percent for the Tomb Raider training and then about a, like one percent, a little more than one percent uh, in the past 30 days. So if we start at 33, you lost body fat with the Tomb Raider challenge and now you lost even more. You haven't gained it back. Yeah, I'm at 27 percent now. So you are making progress and that's the thing with, with uh, the pro progression is not going to be the same all the time. The, the closer you get, the harder it will get to to get the same numbers so mm -hmm. and then I'm, also body types and genetics i'm sure are a factor here yes and that's that's the way it is you know life is not fair some some people will be <laughs> no. unfortunately some, for some, us <laughs> some people will lose five percent body fat in 30 days some people will lose two but they might gain more muscle mass and um so we're all different but i have to say i'm really happy with those results because really? i know you um, ate well, I know you trained hard and we can obviously see the results mm -hmm. and if you look at where we started, you, you, you've done such a nice progression. So, exactly. and I also put those new uh, muscles to the test with the, the stunts that I was doing. Just even that small action scene had zero, you know, choreography or anything, but it gave me such a huge respect for the actors and actresses that you've worked with, Gal included, that are doing these crazy stunts and action scenes they're so exhausting like my whole body was sore just from filming that one scene and working in front of a green screen yeah. at times as well like i was shocked at how sore and exhausted i was just from whole i mean i even had my knuckles were all bruised from the plastic shield that i had let alone having you know a higher quality one that was made in Hollywood, then I can't even imagine how hard that is for so, the trainers. So imagine doing that day in and day out, the, you know, whole days for six months. And you have crazy. to be prepared. It makes and sense why they are paid so highly because it is actually a really insane job that I would have had no idea about. I'm happy we talked about that because people don't know what it takes to shoot an action movie. Um, the long days of stunts. There's some amazing stunt people out there helping out, training our actors, and and also you know, you know, helping out on set with with some of the stunts. But yeah, it is super tough, and I'm so happy that you got to try it. No, it's so fun. I can't wait to do something like that again. Thank you so much for doing yet another training. And I mean, it was so easy to be able to be like a normal person and being able to access all of your different programs, the Tomb Raider one, now the Wonder Woman one through your app. So thank you for, for making this possible for me. I had a great time and it's something that I'll be doing for, I mean, I've been doing it for over a year now, so. Thank you for all the hard work. I am super proud to see, you know, how long, how far you've come. And uh, I mean, the results speak for itself, so. Woo, that's what I like to, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Lexi. Uh, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to press that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Okay.